Hello everyone, this is Anton Dinoy from PocketNow.com. Google showed off the new Android market yesterday and it brings a brand new graphic user interface, a whole new concept to buying applications. Whatever you've known from the old Google Android market on your Android smartphone does not apply anymore. Instead, we have a great looking, a little bit Windows Phone 7 inspired Google Android market and we will take a look at it right now. And we are back. The rollout process for the Android market has already been started and some of the users already had the Android market installed but if you are not that lucky you might have to wait a couple of weeks until the notification gets to your smartphone. Luckily the Android market, the APK file itself has been leaked to the internet and I'll post a link on how to get it. We got it, we installed it, we have it right here and we have to say it looks really good. Now some might debate that Google is taking some elements from Windows Phone 7, especially the live tiles. Now uh, these blocks right here are not animated or at least uh, are not yet animated. Maybe Google will try to animate them and uh, fit some more information to the same screen. But uh, we have to say we like the new design because it brings you these blocks of information. It fits more information on the screen. It's easier to discover applications, to go through them and uh, to navigate the Android market itself. Now, you can see at the top that you have several windows to, uh, to flick through and we'll start right from the left where you can choose your category and uh, it's scrollable of course featuring all the categories in the Android market for whatever you want, games, books, business, comics, so on and so forth. Swiping one more will bring you to the main screen which is the featured application screen. This screen consists of blocks of applications which are permanently rotated, are featured and uh, if you don't know what to download or what to purchase this is where you would start and from here you can start your application discovery. You can see some fixed blocks here like the games or staff choices and uh, tapping on them will bring you right to uh, the appropriate screen where you can uh, discover the applications themselves. Let's jump back and we'll get to the screen a little bit later. Flicking one more will take you to the top paid screen where you can find all the applications which are in the top paid category but the layout itself has been changed. You can see that now there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 and a half, let's remain with 10 applications displayed at once on the screen with their appropriate icon, title and the developer plus the stars, ratings and prices so you have lots of information at a single glance and going tapping to uh, tapping the title of one will get you to the application page which has also been revamped you can see a search icon on the top a share icon right next to it plus you have the item uh, description with the icon the price now this is in Romanian currency because we're in Romania but uh, it changes according to your location then you will see very very much iOS like display of the screenshots which are scrollable and this is the same which you would get from uh, uh, from an iPhone experience. Tapping on the screenshot itself brings you a large full screen screenshot so that you can see how the application would look on your phone. Further down you see the uh, ratings, description, reviews, information about developer, related applications and of course if you want to flag something as inappropriate which we don't want to do right now basically Google is trying to make the whole discovery purchase download process as simple as it gets and this is good news both for users and for developers because the quicker the application is discovered and bought the better the experience which Google is trying to deliver now going even more to the left you have the top free application category top grossing applications, top new paid applications, of course these always change according to the applications submitted to the, to the market, top new free applications and uh, this is where you want to spend most of your time if you only want to discover applications and download just for the heck of it, and trending and this is the last one. Getting back to the home screen you can tap on apps and uh, it will bring you straight to the featured applications. Of course the new Android market also supports landscape mode if you want to switch for 
a particular reason to landscape. It rearranges the blocks very very well, it fills the screen so you don't have empty space information, well except this one right here at the bottom which uh, of course will be taken care of I believe. But uh, it looks nice but it doesn't give you a reason to switch to landscape except if you own a QWERTY keyboard which is a slide out the aspect and the mode in which the new market looks best is portrait. Now tapping on the menu button will bring you the small menu at the bottom which you've gotten used to by now which contains the my apps which is basically a list of all the applications installed on your smartphone and whenever you have an update available you either get a notification in the notification bar or you have a small update text right here so that you can know there's a new application version available for your smartphone. Getting right back we have a um, settings icon which brings you to uh, a screen where you can configure whether you want to receive ads or not this is rather interesting and you can set the level of content filtering currently we have all applications shown let's get back and we have the accounts where you can choose which accounts are tied to the Android market itself on the smartphone plus your help. So this is how the new Android market looks. The user interface has been uh, completely rethought, revamped. It's taking a couple of cues from Windows Phone 7 and from Apple's iTunes but it's for the best. We like it and uh, hope you liked it too. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. This was Anton D. Knight from PocketNow.com showing you the brand new revamped Google Android market. Thank you very much for watching.